Hi, everybody. We're reading the book called Junie B is Almost a Flower Girl. We're on chapter three. Being a grown up lady. At dinner time, I told daddy about what happened in a playground, and guess what? He said the same dumb thing that mommy said. You're way too young to have a boyfriend, Junie B, he said. It's nice to have Ricardo as a friend, but little girls should be footloose and fancy free. I covered my ears when I heard that. Quit saying that about my feet, I said. I don't want to lose feet, I tell you. I want to grow up feet, grown up feet just like mother has. Just then, mother and daddy looked at each other. I think someone is sleepy, she spelled. I did a bad, I, I did a mad breath at her. Yeah, only guess what? I'm a grown up lady and grown up ladies know how to spell. And so I'm not the one who's a bit slippery. So there. Mother did a quick chuckle and only I didn't know why. After that, she got me down from the table and then she took me into the bathroom and she filled up my tub for my bath. She put lots of bubbles in the water. She also gave me bath toys and a washcloth. Puff it. I gave them right back to her. These things are for babies, I said, and I am all grown up. Well, suit yourself, said Mother. After that, she sat down on the floor and she watched me sit in the bubbles. I sat and sat and sat. See me, Mother? See how I'm just sitting here, I said. When grown-up ladies take a bath, they just sit in the water. And when we don't splash, we don't even play like with baby toys and stuff. I sat and sat some more. Then finally, I did a big sigh. Because I was bored out of my mind, that's why. I petted the bubbles a little bit. Sometimes grown-up ladies pet bubbles, I said. This is not the same as playing. Mothers just smile. I picked up some bubbles and put them in my arms. Bubbles are good for ladies' skin, I said again, and they make them very smooth. I put bubbles on my face and chin, and sometimes grown-up ladies enjoy making a bubble beard, I explained very seriously. After that, I covered my whole entire self with bubbles. Hey, it's very fluffy in here, I said, really happily. Mother laughed. You look like a bride in a long white veil, she said. Then all of a sudden, her whole entire mouth came open. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you the good news, didn't I? She said, your Aunt Flo called today, and she said she's getting married. Mother clapped her hands together. Aunt Flo, Junie B, Aunt Flo is getting married. Isn't that exciting? You're going to go to your very first wedding. After that, Mother smiled really big, and she hummed a pretty bride song. Then she danced with my towel, and so guess what? Getting married must be a pretty big deal. That's the end of chapter three. Hey, I hope that you're doing everything you can at home to stay busy. Make sure you listen to your parents. And remember, please read. It's good for you. We miss you here, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.